The following is a presentation of TFNN. Time to talk about your health. Living a primal lifestyle. We have Mike from Chicago on the line, and he has a question about digestion. Hi, Mike. Hey, guys. Happy Friday. Happy, Happy Friday. Friday. First of all, I just wanted to say that I love the show. I think it's uh, it's great programming. and I'm very much of a like mind when it comes to you know taking control of your own health and certainly doing your own research. Oh, that's so great. Thank you so much. Thank you. Now your hosts, Nico DeHaan and Paige Clark. Happy Friday, everybody. It's Nico DeHaan and Paige Clark here on Hello. Living a Primal Lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Beautiful day here in downtown Clearwater, folks. 73 degrees, mostly sunny. I, we tried to dress like Christmas to get in the mood. Yeah, we did. It's kind of accidental. We always have the same colors on most yeah. of the time, not all the time. But yeah. uh, There's no accidents. <laughs> there are no accidents, folks. <laughs> That's for sure. And there's no accident. You know, uh, right on the TFNN site, you can go to newsletters, and you can go to the, down to the lifestyle newsletter, and you'll hit the couple of buttons and get up to Living a Primal Lifestyle and the Health Signals newsletter. And, and today, I just love this newsletter. Well, I knew you would because of uh, the work of Weston Price Foundation, Might really you know. important work. And really, we base a lot of what we know about food and about health on Weston Price. And, you know, going back to the name of our show, Living a Primal Lifestyle, primal to me means first, yeah. basic. Mm -hmm. And I always like to clarify that this isn't pushing one particular lifestyle, but when we really start joining together and understanding that we just have to get away from the toxic package, commercially made, you know, food industry, big agribusiness stuff, and we get back to eating real food, and that was what the basis of his yeah. life's work was done on the, on the health benefits. Yeah, and just think about it, folks. Every indicator that you run across is health-wise, as far as the food is concerned, tells us that the ingredients in packaged food is what is really destroying our health. And he was really the man that uh, introduced it. Yeah, and, and then, you know, that, that was around the time that packaged food really began also. Where I think they stole the mother from the home in the 40s. Yeah, you well, know? it was even before that because mm -hmm. uh, the army really drove the packaged food because to, you have, have to really carry this food into battle and it can't spoil. Right. So now you're, gonna, you're basically feeding starvation foods to our soldiers who really need the best there is. And that's it doesn't make any to, sense. That's a good way to say it. It's starvation food. It is starvation mm -hmm. food. Yeah. You know, uh, what we put in the newsletter, too, are some pictures. Maybe you can scroll up, Nico. Yeah. Um, because those of you who have not read his seminal work, uh, Nutrition and Physical Degeneration, um, see the pictures of the people there and their teeth. Uh, perfect dentition, gum health, white, straight, perfect teeth without braces. This is what he found. And these uh, people didn't brush their teeth or floss, folks. Yeah. Right, right. In indigenous cultures, uh, he found this all over the world when people ate their natural diets. And that didn't include the things and packages and boxes and bags. Yeah. And um, There's a really good video on here, too, called the Nutritional Traditional Diets. That's uh, Sally that, Fallon's yeah. uh, hour and a half lecture. She's the president and the founder of the, of the Weston Price Foundation. And I think, again, this just shows the power of what we've done with this newsletter is pull together resources and save you all hours of hours of and, and to try and vet out valuable information that's going to benefit you. And not surprising, what we find out is people that follow these traditional diets take a look at their teeth. Yeah. In the next article in the newsletter, we kind of cover, uh, did you know that you can heal your own cavities? And absolutely, you can heal your own cavities. I happen to believe that uh, my personal opinion is that much of the uh, dental association dogma is responsible for the ill health that we experience, not just in our mouths, but in our whole bodies. Yeah, primarily because of... Uh, root canals, root canals amalgams, yeah. fluoridation. Um, so I think... And this is, using mercury for many, many years. Well, yeah, the amalgam fillings yeah, and, yeah. and the mercury fillings. Um, but, you know, our teeth are not just some little hard rocks mounted in our gums. Every tooth... Uh, is, is energetically, and yeah. you know that's the nature of my practice is the energetic yes, connection of life and yeah. living. And every tooth is a, uh, a terminal point to a circuit in the body that corresponds to the spine, that corresponds to every organ, yeah. gland, and emotion. Yeah. So, uh, and then we, um, you know, we then try to save this structure when there's ha when things have happened with root canals and we indicate you know we introduce the opportunity for pleomorphic bacteria to um, take over the multiple miles of tub tubules in your teeth and these bacteria are pleomorphic they they change to adapt to the 
anaerobic um, environment that they experience in those multiple miles of tubules um, and then c create disease throughout the yeah. body. I mean, it's just ludicrous. I mean, I know people just don't believe that what's going on in their mouth can affect their whole body, but in fact, it is absolutely true. And yeah. Weston Price uh, would often say to his clients, clean up your mouth and the rest of your body can heal. Yeah. The, the, the decay that's happening in your teeth is a tremendous stress on the immune system yeah, in folks, general. If you just cut out, you know, it's a no-brainer when you cut out sugar, it mm -hmm. really helps a lot, but when you start uh, getting rid of the grains and the, all the starchy types of carbohydrates, right. that's a huge thing. And then as you uh, get, get into this lifestyle that we're promoting, which is a uh, primal, more primal food, no packaged food, then you sort nutrient of... Nutrient rich, nutrient yeah. dense. And guys, that means greens, and that means fresh fruits and vegetables, but yeah. it also means animal foods. One of the things we, we understand is that the imbalance of the major minerals in the body is responsible for tooth problems. If yes. you don't have a good soft tissue um, uh, reserve mm -hmm. for minerals, then our body has no choice but yeah. to excise that extra yeah. calcium my, from our well, bones my, uh, to neutralize our body. The person who cleans my teeth really, really has noticed the difference s since my diet. And they, mm -hmm. al they always ask me, well, how come, you know, there's hardly any scraping to do. There's, you know, they kind of go through the motions and I'm out of there. And it's mm -hmm. very pleasing to me, naturally. My gums feel a lot better. And, uh, you know, I still do the flossing and, and that, of course. And the oil but, pulling, as we talked about, you know, the, the... Huge, yes. Again, what we do here is we integrate ancient wisdom and modern science yep. to help you all be the healthiest you can ever be. Body, yep. mind, spirit, soul, and home. I'd like to remind folks, uh, give us a call, 877-927-6648. Uh, please pick up the Health Signals newsletter. There's a lot more in here. Uh, and there's a couple of things uh, maybe we should go over. There's a whole thing on wheat here and about sleep uh, and really how to pull an all-nighter. I thought this was important this time of year if mm -hmm. you do decide to... Uh, uh, you know, go out uh, a little bit more than you're used to and you need to pull an all-nighter, say, for exams or something like that, there is a good way of doing it, and that's all in there, and it's quite extensive. So, and uh, We talked about that last week about how... Food cravings mm -hmm. and sugar, fat. Uh, there's a nice infograph here about heart disease. There's also uh, a great uh, thing about <laughs> the future of toilets. When I mean, we talk about that a lot, you know, our and this primal is a real potty. interesting article. I actually like the look of that. That's very yeah, European it's, and sleek. It's, but uh, you know, uh, I still think it should be lower on the floor. I do too. Maybe, in fact, uh, not even just just right. like like many cultures do. They just don't the have anything, ground, right? Yeah. And there's some great recipes in here, uh, primal eggnog. Uh, there's also a uh, primal chocolate raspberry truffles. And, uh, I like that infographic that gives you an idea of the different things that people yeah. do. And I put the whole section healthy. in here about meditation. Uh, you know, we have a new show on TFNN, uh, Mindful Living, with uh, Tom O'Brien and Allie Ford. And they're really discussing a lot of things about, uh, you know, being in the now and meditation as well as yoga. And I put a history of yoga in here. It's a great show, and it just kind of expands what we've been doing here. Right. Is that, folks, being healthy is a quantum move. It's what you do, how you think, how you breathe, how you sleep, what you eat, what you drink. And we want to let you know that you got to address all these things. Yes. The healthy people are doing things in all these areas and mindfulness is one of the most important. Yeah. And um, so, and you know, the thing we were discussing before we went on the air, we were talking about yoga and, uh, you know, Paige said to me, you think that these yogas were so healthy because of their mindfulness or because of their on a vegetarian diet? And I right away said, well, probably the mindfulness. That's exactly what I think. And, uh, and remember those cultures, the Indian culture and the Chinese culture are very ancient cultures and they were probably overpopulated and uh, far removed from hunter and gatherer lifestyle. So they kind of had to make the change to the type of starvation foods that they've been doing for thousands of years mm -hmm. because of the population. Well, I think we have to look at the ancient history of their diet the same way that we look at the ancient history of what we look at primal man in general yeah. and within the evidences there. And as you, as Weston Price indicated, when people eat nutrient-dense animal fat foods, um, you, you know, we see 
health and vitality yeah. thriving. So uh, it's exciting. I think we're just getting great information. I hope you all will take advantage of, of the newsletter and you can get really interactive with us because there's some great links in there. We just yeah. don't have time to cover it on the show. Yeah. But and, we, and uh, you know, we want you to, of course, pick up the newsletter. It helps support our show, but the information is uh, endless. It's invaluable. Yeah, I wanted to uh, say one thing, too, about uh, eating and exercise because I had a client come in today, and she's been uh, with me for quite a long time. And I have slowly switched her over to thinking about fat as a fuel instead mm -hmm. of uh, sugar. And she was always thin, and she wanted to gain muscle. Uh, her time is very valuable, so she doesn't come in that often. She comes in once a week on a steady basis. She never misses. And uh, she said, boy, she says, you know, something is really working good because uh, she said I had the dress on and all my abs were showing. Nice. And she says, you know, it is the diet because I've always been thin. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, I've added a little extra muscle, but until I really switched over and started eating more primal, all of a sudden the little layers of fat that were in between and my muscles now are showing and I feel so much better, I'm more energetic, I have better posture, and it, really the food had so much to do with that. So the, it is the missing link, folks. Uh, yeah, it, it is. Eating it's properly, you know, exercise is going to get you just so far because you have to have the It's 80-20, diet yeah. then exercise. You know, we have a, a caller on the line from Orlando, it's Tom, and he wants to talk about some uh, teeth and some cavities. So we have a couple of minutes, let's go right to Tom. How's it going, Tom? Hey, good, uh, Nico. Uh, hi, Paige. Hi, Tom. I, I uh, was intrigued by that quick flash of the graphics there, uh, uh, healing your t your cavities. Mm -hmm. I've never heard that. Uh, is there a way? How can we get a hold of that article? Is that on on your? Yeah, website? it's in it's in the uh, in newsletter this month's uh, this week's newsletter. Okay, I'll look into that. Yeah. The, the thing that I, I'm wondering about is is um, uh, I, I think about sugar. And I've always had the impression, uh, before now, I, I know a little differently. I was wondering if either both or both of you could comment on how does the mechanism of sugar work in the sense of, uh, you know, I always thought, grew up thinking, well, yes, sugar is bad, but if I eat sugar and then brush my teeth so the sugar's out of my mouth, it's in my mouth only for a short term, uh, then it's once in my stomach, it's out of the way. But is it still hurting me even though it's in my stomach and not on my teeth anymore? That's a good question. Well, first of all, it does change your pH. So, uh, well, you know that, Tom. Uh, you know that sugar is an acidic medium in our bodies, and those people that eat devitalized, high-sugar foods typically have very acidic pH. You know, a lot of people like to talk about people that eat, you know, animal foods. True, if you're eating the wrong kinds of animal foods, and you know from this show that we're proposing that people eat, you know, consciously raised, grass-fed, omega-3 rich meats, but the people that are eating, um, you white know, sugar. sugars, you know, we know if it's white, we know they're what? Magnesium deficient for sure. Mineral deficiency. Mineral deficiency, um, you know, then creates an acidic environment. We start leaching minerals. And tooth uh, remineralization is, is done through balancing out calcium phosphorus, giving good fat-soluble nutrients. Yep. So, so uh, hang on the phone uh, for a second because we got a little break coming up. Uh, you free to hang on? Yes. Okay, okay, great. Be we'll be right back with Tom, and we'll discuss this a little bit more. Folks, uh, the number here is 877-927-6648. Please pick up my new Health Signals newsletter. It's the last issue of the year. So we start uh, right over again, uh, coming up uh, right after the first. So we'll be right back. You've heard Nico DeHaan as co-host of Living a Primal Lifestyle, which airs every Friday at noon Eastern Time on TFNN, and would like to tell you about the personal training studio that Nico is the owner and president of, Performance Training. Since 1998, Nico has trained individuals and groups to improve their health both mentally and physically. As a certified personal trainer, Nico's main focus is on demonstrating exercises correctly to avoid injury and teaching his clients how to manage their past injuries while getting the most out of their personal training sessions. The Performance Training Studio is filled with unique training equipment that enhances balanced results at a faster rate while minimizing damage and discomfort. For more information, you can give Nico a call at 727-418-8740 or email him at nico at tfnn.com. Let him know you heard him on TFNN and save up to $100 on a special package just for TFNN listeners. Act today. 
you take a hands-on approach to managing your investment strategy. You're always looking for the next trading opportunity to magnify your perspective. Direction Shares connects sophisticated traders with a powerful array of ETFs from a wide range of asset classes. The markets may go up and down, and you want tools for both sides of the trade. Discover how we can help at DirectionShares.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction Shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction Shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction Shares at 800-851-0511. The prospectus or summary prospectus prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors employing dynamic strategies. Investors in the fund should understand the consequences of seeking daily investment results, understand the risk of shorting, and intend to actively monitor and manage their investments. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Daryl Martin coined the phrase diagnostic trading and we're happy to announce that his diagnostic box spread analyzer has finally been released. The diagnostic box spread analyzer helps you easily identify the best box spreads on Nadex in seconds, plus you receive access to the diagnostic deviation levels as well as step-by-step -step training videos teaching you how to trade Nadex spreads so you can quickly master the mechanics of this simple yet powerful trading instrument. By pulling live data from the Nadex Exchange, the Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer does all the math for you, calculating risk, reward potential, distance to break even for both outright spreads and spreads used to hedge the underlying market. Visit the front page of TFNN.com today to get your two-week free trial to Daryl Martin's Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer and gain access to the valuable information it can provide when trading the Nadex Box Spreads. Who says you can't take it with you? TFNN says you can. With your mobile device and TFNN's live radio streams, TFNN has put it all in the palm of your hands. No special apps to download. No subscription fees for live radio or Tiger TV streams. We say you can. Now let's go over to the dollar because the dollar is going to be the generator. It is the generator of basically higher dollar, lower market. And what the dollar has done, and this whole uptrend, folks, has just gone sideways. The way it works, folks, is this. We say you can. The Tiger Financial News Network. Smart investors and professional traders know you can. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Nico and Paige take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back to Living a Primal Lifestyle with me, Paige Clark, and Nico DeHaan. And we're really trying to help you live a growling and prowling healthy life out there, tigers and tigresses. Uh, we're talking with Tom, and we're talking about healing our cavities. Uh, don't tell your dentist, and uh, because he's not going to believe you. But the fact is, this has been known for quite some time. And let's get back to what are, if sugar and what we've been told by the American Dental Association that sugars and so forth and carbohydrates are the reason that we have tooth decay, why was it that many of these indigenous tribes have been found with these types of foods, but they had fermentable carbohydrates on their teeth, but no decay? Um, you know, bacteria don't like to live off of these nutrients. You know, they're actually kind of smart. They yes. know they don't like to live off this nutrient devoid food. Foods that bacteria like to eat and break down are things such as milk, vegetables, meat, fish, and fruit. Um, but what actually does cause tooth decay? And, you know, Tom, uh, Weston Price, uh, you know, going back to his work, you can it just uncover so many things that um, that we can do to restore dental health. And what do we see are some of the things? There's not enough minerals in the diet, period. Uh, there's not enough fat-soluble vitamins and vitamins A, D, E, and K. Um, and our nutrients are not being readily absorbable and yes. one of the reasons for fermented foods. So if I had to give some people a top list of things to add to their diet that can help restore mineralization, um, you know, I'd want you to restore pH. And how do we restore pH? By using absorbable forms of our ionized minerals, such as the coral legend product that I use. Um, 
you know, reduce the presence of phytic acids, you know, nuts, seeds, legumes. Right. They interfere with our, our, you know, they cause gut damage, as we know from the previous article in our newsletter. You, you know, that'll be enough to yeah. curl your toes when you read about that. But the foods that we love to see you eating to help build your mouth and whole body nutrition, but also help to rebuild your teeth, you know, coconut oil, grass-fed beef. I mean, we're, yeah. we're it, you know, natural just animals doing their natural seafood and bone food. broths, uh, organic cooked vegetables, organ glands and meats like liver. And you want to limit those foods that have, you know, anti-nutrients that are damaging our gut lining and are designed with those anti-nutrients to keep us from of absorbing things, you know, the vegetable seed oils. Yeah. So well, what should you also... Can I, ask you, also, can mm -hmm. I ask, ask you something here? Yeah. I just, you know, this all sounds good. I, I, and I'm, I admit that I'm playing devil's advocate a little bit, but mm -hmm. not completely. There's a lot I don't know. And I'm still kind of puzzled by this idea that once I get the sugar out of my mouth, you're saying the sugar has affected my pH, the pH of my mouth? Well, no, just your whole entire pH. Yeah, remember, your whole pH is run by the saliva in your mouth. So uh, what your body is, the, your saliva also is. So by changing the pH, by going into more traditional types of foods, you know, the, our ancestors didn't go out and eat a bunch of greens. They took these types of greens that they had and fermented them, soured them, aged them, and used them as spices and used them as condiments mm -hmm. as, as additions to the main course, not as a meal itself. Okay, so 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 by I, I'm 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 still back on this sugar thing. If I eat a bunch of sugar, you're saying it affects the pH of my whole body, mm -hmm. and by affecting the pH of my whole body, making it more acid. Therefore, it causes problems, including the tooth decay. Is that right? Well, as we know, when our body has to buffer the bodily acids, it looks for sources of mineralization. And where do we uh -huh. store our minerals? We store them in our bones. We store them in our teeth and enamel. So the body, you know, there's the old saying: a pregnant woman loses a tooth. Uh, maybe she's lucky she loses a tooth instead of her bones, mm -hmm. but a lot of times the uh, lack of mineralization causes the body in its survival to attempt to demineralize the tooth. So what do we want to do? We want to remineralize the body, and we know that we absorb minerals and hold on to minerals um, when, when we have a diet rich in fat-soluble nutrients, the vitamins A, D, E, and K. And my favorite source is fermented cod liver oil. Um, you know, getting a good source of that, you can contact me or we're going to have it more on our, our resource page. Um, ionizable magnesium and calcium, very weary of any other sources of calcium other than highly usable forms, but magnesium, absolutely. Yeah. And gelatin for that you can get from bone broths. Um, so it's not just one simple thing just by removing sugar. You're not going to uh, uh, make this whole thing go away. What you need to do is really go on this type of a diet where you're uh, like eating that. more like of the animal. That. You've got the bone broths going. And what are mm -hmm. what your grandmother used to do many, many years ago? And you well, know, I, I, I focus on the sugar just because it, yeah. everybody in the world today is such a sugar addict. Of course. Absolutely. And it's so intoxicating. And, you know, if I let myself have sugar every... Once in a while, I feel, well, yeah, I'd like more. Now, I'm not as addicted to as I used to be. Right. Um, and as you get more into uh, absorbing great fats into your body and into your diet, you're going to find you're never, never going to have those cravings anymore. Yeah. So let's say I'm, I'm super healthy like you right now, uh, but I still have cavities. Uh, should I have the uh, dentist remove the mercury and not put anything in its place? Well, let's come back. We'll yeah. come back. You guys Yeah, we'll answer questions. that uh, off the air. Uh, thanks a lot for the call, and okay. we'll go into that, and then we'll continue our show. Thank you, Tom. Thanks a lot, Tom. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. With over three decades of trading experience, Andy Hecht brings a tremendous amount of knowledge and expertise to each weekly issue of his newsletter, The Technomental Commodity Report. The Technomental Commodity Report gives you Andy's unique technomental analysis of the commodities market, a combination of technicals and fundamental analysis which he has developed and perfected over his many years of trading. The Technomental Commodity Report is only $49 a month, and right now you can get a full month-long trial subscription while paying absolutely nothing. See for yourself the kind of weekly report Andy delivers to his subscribers every Thursday morning. You'll receive specific stock, ETF, and option trades based on Andy's analysis, so no futures account is required. For all the details and to start your month-long free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, Visit TFNN.com today.
Has the current market volatility continued to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's n a d e x.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of tfnn.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave Sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Backtech Environmental. For more information, just click the Backtech banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back to the show, folks. The number here is 877-927-6648. Take uh, a moment out of your day and uh, pick up the Health Signals newsletter. Got a whole batch of them next year. Coming 24 issues, $10 a month, two issues a month, five bucks each. Mm -hmm. No brainer, mm -hmm. I think. You know, Tom made a good point. No, uh, you know, you have these things in your mouth. You got, uh, you know, what do you do? You go to a dentist, uh, ask him to take it out. But really, what, what's the answer to this? Uh, you have to really seek out other people, don't you? Well, it's just like we realize now that um, you know, medicine is sick care, health is food, body, mind, spirit, sure. things. Um, you know, you've got to go to a dentist who has been trained in yeah. understanding the holistic approach to whole body health, which includes the mouth. So absolutely, you need to work with a dentist, you need to work with an energetic practitioner yeah, like a, myself. A holistic dentist. Right. right. And, you know, through my quantum reflex training, you know, we're, we're trained to figure out where the interferences are mm -hmm. in the mouth and which teeth are actually creating uh, an immune system uh, strain on the body and which yeah. teeth need to come out. If you've got a root canal, guys, you need to think about getting it out, especially if you've got a uh, life-threatening disease. Weston Price, yes. you know, 1914 to 1948 or something like that, you know, determined that if, you ha if a person had a debilitating disease, if he took the person's infected, because all root canal teeth are infected, folks, not, don't care yeah, what your doctor says. Just the nerve's says. not there anymore. Yeah, the nerve's not there, but the tubules have been infected. Remember, uh, Dr. Minig, who was a follower of Weston Price, who invented the root canal mm -hmm. and taught the world how to perform a root canal, later turned around and spent his whole life, his book, Root Canal Cover-Up, get it if you have any, uh, teaching people that, and going back to doctors and saying, do not do this, 
health debilitating process. So one of the first things that you can do if you have cancer, uh, heart disease, uh, or any other debilitating diseases, if you have a root canal or root canals, you need to see someone who's knowledgeable about the whole body effects and have them properly removed. Same thing for amalgam fillings, amalgam fillings or at least 50% mercury. And um, get it out, folks. Get, get it, it out, out properly. Yeah. You know, yeah. uh, don't do like some of us have done, myself included, before I was knowledgeable about this. Wanted it out for the aesthetic reasons of not having these silver fillings. I was one of these children who uh, I think the dentist just needed an opportunity to bill more to my insurance. Uh, you know, my dad was traveling, my mom, and they basically just said, oh, she's got deep crevices. We need to fill her teeth. How sad. I mean, when I think of that now, but of course nobody knew. Um, so. But now we, we do know. We do know. Yeah. And we need to take advantage of working with people mm -hmm. who have gone beyond the traditional education and have learned so, the now, truth. What do you say to people that are uh, say, okay, I'm healthy, but I have a couple of root canals. Is that okay to leave those in? Um, I, I, I would, would suggest that you put it on your bucket list of yeah, things to get done. I agree. Um, and, and you need to see someone. You know, we have a couple of biological dentists here in Clearwater. If you need a connection, please feel free to contact me at page at tfnn.com. Uh, but there are s people who are really quite renowned worldwide. Uh, and, you know, there's a lot of people that are actually going to other countries to get this kind yeah. of work done because of the cost. Uh, you know, the people yeah. are well trained in this. They're aware of what's yeah. going on. But I think I want to talk about that, Tom. Thanks for bringing it up. I uh, would love to uh, get back on that subject a yeah. little bit. Well, you know, one of the things we ran I ran across is the crucial difference between pickling and fermented foods. Uh, and, you know, uh, what my wife and I have been doing over the last year is really introducing definitely fermented and pickled foods into every meal that we have. Yes. Not breakfast as much, but even uh, a pickle. Well, or I something. do. That's where I yeah. primarily get my fermented do kefir. You? And, oh, yeah, for kefir. And yeah, I, I can understand that. I'm going to bring in some homemade kefir because oh, yeah, I really, I, I talked to you a little bit about yes. how people should seek out through their co-ops, getting mm -hmm. some of the, the, the starter cultures right. for this. But I, I think this article is great because, again, if you can look at adding a fermented food, whether it be a sweet type, fruity type kefir or a salty, remember kind right. of getting that. The salting really starts the pickling pro or the, uh, the fermenting process, mm -hmm. a good, good salt base, mm -hmm. definitely. And uh, I picked up some great sauerkraut from the health food store that has a, had a salt base to it. Uh, I want to clarify that. Yeah. Um, again, you know, just like the sauerkraut that you buy in the store on the store shelf is going to be more of a, it's not a raw living sauerkraut. Uh, it's more of a pickling kraut. Mm -hmm. The sauerkraut that you would find in the refrigerator section at your house food store, Nature's is the one that we yeah. like to talk about. Um, in the refrigerator section, you'll find living um, sauerkraut, but I want everyone to understand it's so easy it's, to it's make, yeah. and for pennies on the dollar compared to even it's what going to cost a lot more if you if you go to the health food store and get the get this stuff. It's going to cost you a lot more than if you make it yourself, and it's kind of a breeze to make. It's a breeze. Yeah. It is a breeze, and and this is what I, I that's part of my New Year's resolution. I know all this, and I need to just just be mindful mm -hmm. and in the moment and take the time yeah. to make it. And you know, I'm pretty good about doing my kefir. You know, I go down to the Saturday morning market, I get my gallons of raw milk, and I take my kefir grains, and I just start the process, and it's so easy, and it tastes so much better than anything you can yeah. ever buy. Here's some suggestions. Uh, vegetables that you ferment in your kitchen using a starter, salt, mm -hmm. and some filtered water create their own self-preserving acidic liquid uh, that is a byproduct of the fermentation process. Uh, the lactic acid is incredibly beneficial to digestion, which, uh, when consumed along with the fermented vegetables, or even dipping alone, uh, as you have in some diets, uh, you, like uh, cabbage juice and things like that. Yeah, in other words, the homemade fermented veggies are both fermented and pickled. But yes. this article, again, if you... You, you know, maybe we should pop that in the... Is that in the new... No, that is in the no, newsletter. No, 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 it's not. No, it okay. might be in the future one. Yeah, but we were talking about eating the pickle. But, you know, yeah. the other thing I want you to look at is the energetic and the ancient influence of, you know, whether we go from Taoist or the Ayurvedic um, concept of the different tastes. You know, the sour taste, the salty taste, the sweet taste, the bitter taste. I always look for opportunities to introduce... 
uh, these different tastes into the diet of the yeah. people I work with. Uh, people that see me know I get them on a terrific tonic. Now that terrific tonic is a living, breathing um, protocol. Yeah. Sometimes I add different herbs to that. Sometimes yeah. I, you know, fermented herbal tonics. Yeah. I think I've told you yes. about that. Um, the fermented vegetables is a great way to get the sour yeah, taste. Yeah, well, listen to what it says. Home for uh, fermentation of vegetable preserves without the use of any pressure or heat, unlike the supermarket versions of the same food. It allows uh, ambiguous... The ubiquitous and beneficial lactobacilli that present works. on the surface of all living things, yes, even your own skin, to proliferate, creating lactic acid, which not only pickles and preserves the vegetables, but also promotes the health of those that consume it in the following ways. You know, it, it enhances the vitamin content of the food, mm -hmm. preserves and sometimes enhances the enzyme content of the food. Mm -hmm. It improves the nutrition, uh, uh, nutrition and uh, bio uh, availability in your body, and improves the digestibility of the food and even cooked foods that are consumed along with it. So you know, um, make yourself some fermented. Uh, vegetables and just get in the habit, you know, like we grew up with pulling some pickles out with a meal, you know, have your fermented vegetables along with your lunch and dinner. You're going to be adding healthy probiotics. And look for an opportunity to use different strains. That's why I like my kefir strains and, you know, because the lactobacilli are, is a wonderful probiotic, but there are other strains that we get from other food sources. And I like to, um, you know, and you know, talk about the importance of of getting our probiotics at every meal. Yeah, I mm -hmm. agree. Mm -hmm. You know, I read across this this article, uh, which was talking about uh, doctors being paid to m promote drugs, which is real prolific in this country. Mm -hmm. And this is a uh, a. Uh, uh, news thing about uh, Glasgow Smith Klein to stop paying doctors to promote its drugs, and this mm -hmm. is in the UK. And uh, you know, this is uh, part of the industrial machine that we have in the United States. That uh, you know, the doctors get most of their information from the people who come and see them about oh, their I'm products. Oh, I'm quite aware of that. I mean, I graduated yeah. from the University of Florida, mm -hmm. uh, started my career in sales, ended mm -hmm. up working for one of the three-letter computer companies, but I had an opportunity to go work for Merck, which was right. a very prestigious job straight out of college, yep. but it didn't resonate with me because I just couldn't, um, you know, I've always been drawn to healthcare. I ended up going into the technology sector and then later uh, I moved over um, to healthcare through um, the laboratory sciences yeah. and I worked in that area. But a lot of people say to me, oh, why don't you go work for one of the, one of the pharmaceutical companies? I just could not ever do that because this is exactly what happens. Doctors are very busy. They have to see their patients and give them eight minutes because that's all they're paid yeah. for. And that's um, all they give the salespeople, too. Well, and the salespeople have to wait there and, and get in, and they give them samples. And, and uh, you know, they they would get trips and yeah. all kinds of things. Yeah, that they would, that, those add-ons are big because, uh, you know, I work with a physical therapist, uh, Sylvia, and the way she started her business when she opened up uh, was to go around doctors and give them lunches and then oh. talk. And they wouldn't even consider uh, referring to her unless that was done. So, I mean, it's a bribery to start with. It's not whether you're good or not. It's and whether you wonder you bring me why lunch. a lot of the medical staff and medical offices are struggling with weight relief mm -hmm. because they want these big lunches. I mean, yeah, and the, the lunches are never lunches that I would eat. That's no. for sure. You know, you they go down to the chicken place or the burger place, and uh, it's just uh, donuts are a huge thing too, of course. And that's mm -hmm. probably one of the worst foods in the world. Is any kind of coming from Mr. Donuts? I mean, give me a break, folks. <laughs> hey, you know, sort of getting off the it. subject just for yeah, a moment, sure. but I was scanning through our news feed, and, uh, you know, we are talking a little bit about just what happens with the Christmas shopping and how we just get taken over with, uh, you know, Very what we're buying and how much of us go into debt, uh, kind of assuming that we show people that um, we love them by what we buy them. And I, I, I think maybe... You know, showing people that we love them is important to do all year long, and the presents don't necessarily do it. But it reminded me, I hope if anyone has shopped at Target, you know, maybe this is old news to all of you, but I want to say, um, if you didn't hear this, Target had a breach of security, and any credit card used in a Target store between something like November 15th to December 15th, it is likely that your credit card information was taken, and it is recommended that you close. And, and particularly, people are using debit cards 
Um, yeah. You know, so it's probably a good idea. Uh, it's going to be a hassle here, right, a couple days before Christmas. But if you did shop at Target, perhaps you need to yeah, get you better check your, you better go and check your statements, that's for sure. Uh, here's an article, Eight Reasons Why You're Only... Uh, four thousandths of a percent in control of your Christmas shopping. I thought this was pretty interesting. Somebody sent this to me. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, because of the advertising that goes on, uh, you know, there's a lot of suggestions being given to you and there's all kinds of uh, things happening as far as, you know, uh, socially you're pressured into buying a lot of stuff that you really don't need and the people that you're giving it to probably doesn't need. Um, Advertising basically is a brainwashing of, mm -hmm. of sorts, mm -hmm. and uh, we know it works. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, I, I know a lot of people have a lot of junk that they buy, but uh, depending on your mood, uh, you know, scarcity is one of the things that uh, runs our uh, makes things valuable in our, which is kind of uh, poor. Yes. I mean, uh, Lack. Well, you know, talk we... about scarcity of good food. Mm -hmm. That means uh, good food is very expensive. Well, I mean, it, and it can be mm -hmm. if you uh, eat the, a, a normal type of diet that you say, hey, you know, I, if I want something really good, I have to buy something really expensive. But as you know, the primal diet that we're talking about, the paleo type of diet, once you get on it, you really do realize that it's not that expensive because you're eating a lot less and you're not eating all that junk. That's exactly true. Yeah. Yeah. So. So, uh, you know, uh, but that whole buy. scarcity, lack, uh, fear of loss mm -hmm. um, kind of transcends into, you know, people that, you know, the emotion, you know, the emotional part of disease mm -hmm. is holding on to things. Um, it transcends into weight release and holding on, insulating in case something happens. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of people that through, say, regression hypnosis or past life analysis realize maybe they experienced a famine mm -hmm. or scarcity. Mm -hmm. And we might see that a lot of people that buy unnecessary things, there could be be some connection. No doubt about it. I uh, have a friend of mine, Adam Curry, who has his own podcast show uh, called No Agenda, and he was talking about, you know, I decided to disconnect. He says, I don't have a phone anymore. I've got uh, a little uh, I, uh, phone touch mm -hmm. or the iPod touch. The iPod. Yeah, and it just has Wi-Fi, and he goes from one Wi-Fi to another. He says, I really don't miss it at all. He says, in fact, it saves me $150 a month with me and my wife. And, mm -hmm. You know, so there's uh, good ways of uh, disconnecting from, you know, some of this shopping insanity and uh, technical life that we have. Every have a, year, every year, a, I ha yeah, every year I have an idea that I'm yeah. going to make big changes and it sneaks up on me, but, you know, here we are, and so maybe all of us can take some time and try and find something to do that doesn't involve yeah. feeding the machine. Yeah, and my wife and I basically have uh, decided, uh, you know, before the uh, November even, we just said, okay, you know, we pick out five things, you pick out five things, and we'll get those for each other, things that we need and that mm -hmm. we want, and the rest of it, and maybe one little surprise, and the cards are nice, you know, mm -hmm. so... Uh, uh, we're trying to get out of the real commercialized. But Danny uh, in Atlanta had a mm -hmm. uh, question about some uh, supplements. Some supplements are in a glycerin base, and what do we think of glycerin? Well, there are some nutritional uh, products that do require uh, additional additives, but for the most part, I prefer excipient free with no toxic tag along additives. If you can have one or two comments on the ingredients, that's the one you want. Yeah, that makes the most sense. Yeah. Thanks, Danny. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Okay, folks, we got another segment coming up. Uh, the number here is 877-927-6648. Take time to please pick up a Health Signals newsletter, and Paige and I will be right back. Have you subscribed to The Gold Report yet? On Wednesday, August 14th and Thursday, August 15th, Tom O'Brien advised his Gold Report subscribers to close out six of their nine open positions, all winning trades ranging from a 10.69% profit to an incredible 48% profit in just one equity. Tom O'Brien brings an incredible wealth of knowledge and experience to the gold market and the equities within the industry. That's almost 12 years since this powerful newsletter first began. And right now, you can get a 30-day free trial to the Gold Report by visiting TFNN.com. 
Make sure you're a subscriber as this volatile gold market makes its way back into positive territory after declining all the way from $1,900 to under $1,200 an ounce in only two years. Get your 30-day free trial today by visiting TFNN.com. With the launch of Tiger TV, TFNN has brought our programming to the next level. With Tiger TV, you can gain access to each host's charts and computer screens as they host their daily stock program. Whether it's Tom O'Brien, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, David White, Larry Pesavento, Andy Hecht, Victor Jones, or Daryl Martin, you can catch all of our technicians hosting their programs live and archived on Tiger TV for your viewing pleasure 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. If you haven't checked out Tiger TV, then visit TFNN.com and see what you're missing. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long long term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light speed world of ever evolving high tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Wouldn't it be great if you could get a Red light, green light indicator that gives you signals on 25 different futures contracts? Now you can with Taz Signal Box. This red light, green light market profile system dynamically updates 24 hours a day and provides you with important trend and trade signals on nine different commodities, nine different indices, and eight different currencies. Right now you can receive a two week free trial to Taz Signal Box. For all the details and to find out how the Signal Box works, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Patterns, profits, and peace of mind. Are you looking for a precision edge in the market? Something that can stack the odds in your favor? Then look into Larry Pesavento's trading newsletter. Patterns, profits, and peace of mind. In each weekly issue, Larry explains what's going to happen in the markets based on the pattern he sees developing and gives you actionable trade ideas based on those patterns. Plus, you'll get his detailed analysis on a variety of markets and sectors, including stocks, treasury bonds, the gold market, oil, the dollar, the Forex market, and more. You'll get access to all the patterns Larry is seeing in the markets, plus the Astro Harmonics and powerful Bradley stock market model that Larry utilizes for less than $5 a day. An extremely potent combination that will give you the edge you've been looking for. Try patterns, profits, and peace of mind absolutely free for two full weeks. That's an $85 value. Yours free when you register right now. Get Larry's patterns, profits, and peace of mind. And get the edge you've been looking for. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. Welcome back, and we're living a primal lifestyle. And, uh, you know, I don't want to get too excited, but uh, recently the FDA has surprised me with a couple of moves that indicate that perhaps they are looking out for the people a little bit and not industry. However, we won't hold our breath. Soap and body <laughs> washes that are labeled antibacterial have now come under scrutiny according to medicalnewstoday.com. And, you know, we've been teaching this a long time, folks. Um, there Especially are those little uh, jelly things. That, yeah. That, that, you know, well, what's coming up is that I guess these companies are going to have to do research to prove that uh, their formulations are actually more effective than soap and water, and I just don't think that's going to happen because guess what? The research shows yes. that soap and water are more effective, and soap and water don't have the endocrine disruptive um, problems that the ingredients usually found in these, such as triclosan um, and uh, one's called triclocarbon, these are known to cause uh, problems, interfere with the health of nursing babies, and can cause norovirus outbreaks. Folks, the bottom line is you can make the very best uh, antibacterial soaps using some aromatherapy. Aromatherapy is clinically proven to protect us from viruses, bacteria, fungi. 
as well as staff resistant. Yeah. And this uh, whole MRSA and these yeah. kind of a things, very simply a little castor oil, I mean, excuse me, a little bit of uh, Castile soap. Mm -hmm. um, well, there's a lot of simple soaps that really do work well and mm -hmm. have for generations, but as I'm digging through this article, uh, you know, I'm reading that uh, they have to show these uh, products that are effective. So that brings my conspiratorial mind to thinking, are they trying to drive out all these small soap companies who do re really have pretty good soap and maybe have some ingredients in there? Now are they going to have to go through testing and testing exactly. that these large manufacturers could afford to do, but a small guy? Has, you know, and that's what happens in our uh, society a lot. You know, all of a sudden now you've got more of these regulations that you have to prove things. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, some of those things are important, but if we just have a label on it and we can see what's in it, then an informed c customer is going to be able to make up his own mind. And I think that's a better approach than having all everybody all of a sudden has to do this. Why not have a general testing laboratory do the test and everybody subscribe to that? I like instead that of, I instead like of that having lot. one manufacturer, each manufacturing having to do their own testing. It well, doesn't make sense to me. Well, we know that many of the offending manufacturers in agribusiness or products, or consumer products, uh, do do their own testing. And I yeah. don't believe that. No, and if you, you know now you're doing your own testing and you're showing your own results, and they, they can be skewed. Nobody's looking over your shoulder saying, "How are you testing this stuff?" Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Certainly not the FDA. They, they're busy enough. To but do e it, so. but either way, let's yeah. keep an eye, keep an eye that really it's hand washing with regular soap, water, and hot in warm water is one of the most important steps you can take to keep yourself healthy. Yeah. You know. And another thing, you know, if you go to a hospital these days, and you know, I, over the past few months I've been to a hospital quite a few times, and everywhere you go are these little containers uh, where you just pound them and the gel comes out, the clear gel, uh, with the antibacterial, it's not even soap, it's right. an antibacterial gel, yeah. and every doctor is using that. Did you know in, in hospitals in certain parts of Europe, instead they have uh, aromatherapy-based hand sanitizers? That makes more sense. And, you know, they're not causing further damage, so... Yeah, because these things, they really do uh, interrupt your whole immune system when you're yeah. talking about this antibacterial stuff, mm -hmm. the gels, uh, they're really uh, disrupting you. So that, yeah, good, they're, 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 they're completely uh, interfering with our endocrine systems. Yeah. So, and so and that's, really that's really what the problem we have in our society right now, in the United States especially, is that many things are disrupting our immune system, our uh, whole way of living. And that's kind of why we're that's here. That's why we're here, folks. We want you to be healthy. We want you to put first things first. Yeah. The health is first. The wealth comes next. Exactly. Okay. This is our show uh, this week. I hope everybody has a great holiday, a nice yes. Christmas. Uh, certainly, we're planning one. And, the best uh, to you and your family. Thank you yeah. so much for we'll joining us. We'll see you before the New Year because next Friday we've got another show. See you then. See you then. What's the one thing that pulls people back from the breakthrough that they're moving towards? What's the only thing that really stops people from taking action? You and I both know the answer, and sure, we can come up with the reasons why we're not where we want to be, but the only reason that we don't do more with our life is fear. Or if you're an overachiever, call it stress. Simply put, there's something that happened to us in our past that's holding us back from the life we deserve, yet you and I are okay we're here. So why should we let our past control our future? Exactly. We shouldn't. Hi. I'm Steve Rhodes with TFNN.com, and when it comes to your trading and investing, I can help you overcome your fear of loss. Together, we'll turn weakness into strength with a system I've developed called Mastering Probability. I'll teach you how to make your money work harder for you than you do for it. I'll teach you the tools that provide financial freedom. Go to the homepage of TFNN.com, click on my name, Steve Rhodes, and begin your journey of mastering probability risk-free. It's time to become a pioneer of your future versus a prisoner of your past.